Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. On the vast and unpredictable seas, the F-35C has become one of the latest additions to the U.S. Navy's aircraft carrier capable aircraft. The F-35C is a variant of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, designed for carrier-based operations. This 21st century fighter jet is a true engineering marvel, boasting advanced stealth and sensor capabilities, thereby enhancing the military's abilities on the seas. Carriers have played a crucial role in naval warfare from World War II to the present day. Today's carriers, like the USS Gerald R. Ford, are capable of launching and recovering aircraft at high speeds in all weather conditions. This is the uh, F-35C. It's the Navy's variant of the Joint Strike Fighter. Uh, single engine fighter, fifth gen uh, aircraft. Brings all the stealth technology uh, to the fight. The F-35C model has a different body frame compared to the other models of the F-35 aircraft. It has a larger wing area, reinforced landing gear, and a stronger internal structure to withstand the higher stresses of carrier operations. It's the largest and heaviest of the three F-35 variants, and one of its most striking features is its impressive wingspan of 44.5 feet when fully extended. This massive wingspan allows the aircraft to generate significant lift, making it capable of carrying a substantial payload and achieving impressive combat range. Additionally, the F-35C features folding wings, allowing it to fit into tight spaces like the hangar of an aircraft carrier. But what truly sets the F-35C apart is its advanced avionics and stealth capabilities. Equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and communication systems, the F-35C can track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, making it a formidable weapon in any combat scenario. Its low radar cross-section signature allows it to penetrate enemy airspace undetected. In contrast, its advanced electronic warfare systems can jam enemy radar and communications. This makes the F-35C a valuable asset for naval aviation, providing the Navy with a decisive edge in the conflict. purpose is to go into an uh, environment that is uh, harder to access for enemy threats. It's got touch screens uh, in, the, uh, in the jet. Everything's projected in front of your face. The pre-flight activities of the F-35C begin long before the pilot even steps into the cockpit. They also load the aircraft with fuel and any necessary weapons or equipment. Once the ground crew has completed their checks, 
the pilot conducts a series of pre-flight checks inside the cockpit. This includes checking the flight controls, instruments, and communication systems. Once all pre-flight checks are complete, the pilot taxis the F-35C to the runway, which undergoes one final inspection before takeoff. This includes a review of weather conditions and any air traffic in the area as well as a final check of the aircraft systems. With all pre-flight checks complete, the F-35C is ready to take to the skies. Flying the F-35C is not for the faint of heart. It is a complex, high-performance aircraft requiring a skilled and experienced pilot to operate it effectively. The F-35C's unique design makes it ideally suited for carrier-based operations, including arrested landings and catapult takeoffs. These advanced techniques allow the F-35C to take off and land on the relatively small and moving platforms of aircraft carriers, providing the Navy with a powerful tool for air superiority and strike missions. During an arrested landing, the F-35C approaches the carrier at high speed deploying a hook that catches one of several cables on the deck. This slows the aircraft down quickly, bringing it to a complete stop in a matter of seconds. This technique requires skillful timing and precision from the pilot as the aircraft must be aligned perfectly with the cable in order for the hook to engage. The catapult launch process of the F-35C is a breathtaking display of precision engineering and cutting edge technology. Once the pilot is in position and ready to launch, the launch crew carefully positions the aircraft on the catapult. To launch the aircraft, it must first be secured to the catapult with a launch bar to the shuttle, which is a mechanism that travels along the catapult track. This bar is locked into place using a hydraulic mechanism that generates up to 90,000 pounds of force to ensure a secure fit. The pilot must carefully align the launch bar with the catapult shuttle, ensuring that it is centered and secured in place. Once the F-35C has been securely locked into the catapult, the next step is to ensure the safety of the surrounding aircraft and personnel during the launch process. This is achieved through the use of a unique safety feature known as the Jet Blast Deflector, or JBD. The JBD is a massive steel door located behind the aircraft designed to protect other aircraft and personnel from the powerful jet blast generated during takeoff.
As the F-35C is launched from the catapult, it produces an incredible amount of thrust, which can cause severe damage to anything in its path. To prevent this, the JBD is raised into place by a hydraulic system just before launch, creating a barrier between the aircraft and the surrounding area. This ensures that the jet blast is directed upwards and away from the other aircraft and personnel, providing a safe environment for everyone involved. Once the launch bar is in position and the JBD raised, the catapult is activated, accelerating the aircraft from zero to over 150 miles per hour in just over two seconds. This incredible speed is necessary to generate enough lift for the aircraft to take flight from the carrier deck. While the catapult system is used for launching an aircraft, the arresting gear on an aircraft carrier brings the aircraft to a safe and controlled stop during the landing operation. The arresting gear system uses a series of cables and hydraulic dampers to absorb the aircraft's momentum during landing. To keep this system in top working order, the maintenance crew must inspect and test the system regularly. Checking for any signs of wear or damage and replacing worn or faulty components is needed. They must also ensure that the cables are properly lubricated and tensioned and that the hydraulic dampers function correctly. Apart from the F-35C, another variant of the F-35 class is the F-35B. The F-35B is a short takeoff and vertical landing variant of the F-35 family. This advanced fighter jet has unique capabilities. The F-35B has a powerful engine that enables it to take off from a very short distance, thanks to its short takeoff and vertical landing technology. Its advanced propulsion system makes these capabilities possible, including a Rolls-Royce lift fan behind the cockpit. This lift fan provides additional lift during takeoff, allowing the aircraft to get off the ground quickly and with minimal runway distance. Additionally, the F-35B has a set of swiveling nozzles that can direct the engine's 40,000 pounds of thrust downward, enabling it to hover in midair and even fly backward using vector thrust technology and land vertically like a helicopter. Indeed, the F-35 class is a crucial asset for naval ship and aircraft operations, providing advanced capabilities in combat scenarios. However, the success of these operations heavily relies on the skills and expertise of the crew. Their training, maintenance work and teamwork ensure that the F-35 can perform to its maximum potential, making them an essential component of any successful mission. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. 
See you next time.